Hello, legends. Uh, welcome to another episode of Wavematics Weekly Forecast uh, for March 20th to 24th, 2023. Uh, let me know where you are watching us from. Those who are live with us, uh, let me quickly know where you are watching us from as we jump straight into the live stream. If you are watching us live, uh, let me know where you are watching us from. My name is Peter Pell and I'm speaking from Toronto. And uh today is going to be a very interesting interesting uh week because uh we've had so much parties that are really setting up for very high risk to reward ratio and we are going to look at it's going to be very short and snappy but we are going to go through a lot of pairs uh, i've had a lot of requests on giving a very in-depth analysis on bitcoin so i'm going to let us know whether bitcoin is held in towards 100k or uh, if it is not, we will look at the the, the, the resistance is, it might get in the process. And we're also going to look at the dollar index uh, and the dollar-related pairs and any other pair that uh, uh, at any other pair that we are seeing profitable setups. If you have any pair or you have any instrument that you want us to look to, uh, leave them in the comment section as we go through it. it uh, as we go through them now, we have uh, Karachi from Pakistan. We have VN also from uh, Vietnam. So let me know where exactly that you are watching us from so that as a family, uh, we will know where we are all connecting from. Uh, before we continue, on, uh, let me know also in the comment section if uh, the, you can see my screen and if uh, my voice, the sound is also okay for you. Let me know in the comment section as, as we journey into uh, this week and trade and become profitable traders as we all expected. So now let's, let's jump straight. Um, into today's analysis. Uh, let's jump straight into today's analysis. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, before even we come to Bitcoin, let's let's look at the dollar index and some few uh, dollar related pairs, the majors, before we we we, we jump to. Uh, Bitcoin, if you have any question, just keep it coming. I'm going to address uh, them. Or if you have any instruments, uh, uh, you I, I see them in the comment section. But when I started, I, I won't interrupt it with it. But before we end, I, I might uh, probably address all, all these questions uh, or all the instruments that you are asking for. Uh, if you are also watching us from YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us, let's help us and assist us in growing so that I can introduce more educational content to help you guys. So now, if if we jump straight into the dollar index, uh, every time that we are starting, we look at the index to give us a fair idea of what's happening, of what is happening in the dollar index. And at the same time, we switch uh, to know how we are going to trade it with the other pairs, even if you are not trading the dollar index. So today I might move a little faster so that we can look at a lot of pairs. So uh, with the dollar index, uh, let's let's jump to the daily so that you know the bigger picture, what we are looking at on the daily time frame. Uh, there are some of the pairs I'll go to the, the legendary trading room and, and look at it from there because we, we always update our members ahead of time on both weekly, daily, four-hour chart. So if we come to... Uh, uh, this is this is only for members. Uh, I do share a lot of free. Uh, the members have a very organized trading room where they have all their charts with weekly, daily, four-hour time frame, so that they know what exactly that they are looking for, where we are, and in this. Trade room to at the end of the week or at the end of the day, that was setups that we are looking at. So let's jump straight into. So now I'm going to check the daily time frame. So this is what I'm looking at from the daily time frame. Now, the daily time frame, uh, we we have this. The daily time frame we have. Okay. Okay. It looks like uh, uh, just a moment. Uh, let me check. It, it looks like. The screen is not covering everything. Let me check uh, trading view. Are you guys having any problem with uh, what what is being displayed on the screen? Because I'm seeing uh, the the part of the screen being showed here. So if you're having similar problem, let me know in the comment section. Then I'll uh, I'll, I'll jump. Uh, are you seeing all of trading view uh, in your in in your screens? 
in your screen. So you're having a similar problem. Okay. Okay, just a moment. Uh, it looks like the problem is coming from OBS. Okay, uh, let me know in the comment section if uh, it's better now as I adjust the screen for you guys so that you can get everything correctly. Okay, so I, I, I think we have, we have a perfect screen now. We have a perfect screen now, so... We have a perfect screen now. Okay, it's left with only this one. Let's quickly, sorry for, for this. It's been some time that I came live on, on YouTube and Facebook group. That is why the OBS got updated and okay, I think we are good, we are good to go now. Okay. So now in the dollar index, uh, let's let's quickly look at what is happening on the daily time frame. Okay, perfect. Uh, now on the daily time frame, this is this is what we are looking at. Um, we have this impulsive move for a wave one. Now we are looking at the correction for an A, B, and C. This is the daily time frame that we are looking at. So now we are expecting a short term trend in dollar. Then we will start looking for this move. So for this particular week, uh, it is the short term strength that will likely happen in this particular week. Uh, so that is, so we are going to be bullish on most of the pairs of the dollar index, the, the dollar related pairs for a strength in dollar for this wave C. So now let's quickly jump into the wave four on trading view and, and look at how we are trading in this particular week. So when we go to trading view, when we go to trading view, on the four hour time frame, now we have a, a wave A, which was a leading diagonal. A wave A, which was a leading diagonal. Then we have a, an ABC uh, for wave B. So we are looking at it of a possibility of the impulsive wave for the wave C starting at this particular end, with this being a wave one. So we are looking at all this as a correction for wave two. But you know, in wave two, uh, the correction cannot go beyond the, the, the beginning of the wave one, which is the 103.452. So uh, that is going to be our invalidation level. But for trading purposes, we are waiting for a breakout of this blue, this particular trend line. So that once we get a breakout from it, uh, it's going to give us a confirmation. We will get a correction. Once we get a correction, then we are going to start buying for the wave C. Uh, because for this week on the four-hour time frame, uh, whether you are trading on the 15 minutes or not, you will get a lot of trades from this particular scenario. So the confirmation level is not just a signal, but it's a confirmation level to make us know that the bullish scenario is really in play, and we can the the bullish scenario is in play, and we can uh, have the wave C that we are waiting for. So now, now that we've gotten a, a fair view of what uh, the dollar index is going to look like. Let's quickly jump into uh, Euro USD and the rest and uh, look at it quickly. So on, on Euro USD, it is the same, uh, it's a similar scenario. So now we have a wave A, it's a leading diagonal because of the correlation we have in uh, Euro USD and the DXY because about more than 50% of the dollar index is backed by the Euro USD. So most times it is very, very in line with what is happening on the DXY. So now this is just an inverse of what is happening in the DXY. So now we have uh, this first move as a wave one, this impulsive move as a wave one. Now we are looking at a correction similar to what we just discussed. Now with this particular one too, we are going to look at a breakout from this particular channel, uh, a breakout from this particular channel uh trend line then once we see the breakout uh we are going to 
start trading in uh it's uh, those with us in the legendary trade room the, the 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 premium members i'm going to be updating you as and when it is happening as and when it is happening in the course of the week so that you don't mix these trades because these week trades are very simple the patterns are are are, are very very simple so let's say now let me show you how i do trade some of these things if if you go to the one hour time frame if you go to the one hour time frame now uh, let me bring in uh, rsi or divergence now if you go to the one hour frame, now we anticipating to come down but yet we no end. if you can you can you can even draw another trend line and anticipate what, when this breakout might also happen. So there's a possibility we might still make another high to the top to get a divergence at with the RSI here, something a divergence like this. Uh, so once we get that a particular divergence, it makes us aware that, okay, now the, the, the buyers are losing momentum, uh, they are losing out of steam and the sellers are going to be getting more of this. Then we will have start looking for uh, a, a downward move like this to break this first trend line. As we break this first trend line, if you get any uh, correction, short term correction there, you can start selling. But once we get to this particular trend line, it might it can act as a support. Uh, uh, it can it can act as support. And but we are looking for the break out of it. So what we do is once we get here, we watch out closely what the price action wants to do. Then if we have a breakout convincingly with another uh correction then we can add up to our trade so these are the progresses that we use in trading these things it's very simple we will look at uh, the pound usd and i'm going to show you a similar thing on how you can use in 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 entering such trades entering such trades so uh if you are if you have questions you can still keep it coming I'm, I'm i'm seeing them if you have time i'm going to address all of them if you don't even have time i'm going to share a uh, charge to those questions that you are asking i'm seeing uh maka mecca also asking the question of uh if we have time uh, can you i please analyze uh the aussie japanese cn okay i've seen it so you keep your questions coming uh let me know those i want to see those watching with us live uh, let me know in the comment section if you are watching this live or if you are watching the replay uh, version later. Also, let me know. So if you are watching this live, let me know. Uh, comment in the comment section whether you are watching live or hashtag replay to make me know you are watching a replay version of it. So let's let's jump straight into uh, the, the pound USD for us to get a similar example of what I just explained with the euro USD. Then you understand how to also uh, trade the the pound USD on a similar on a similar scenario. Uh, the, the pound. So when when we go to our time frame of the pound USD, we have a similar scenario. Pound USD. We we uh, today. I want to share more of uh, daily time frame. So let me let me go to the legendary trade room and show you what we are looking at on the daily time frame of pound USD. So pound USD. We are. We are looking at this uh, particular pattern. We are looking at for a wave A. So if you check the weekly, the weekly will give you a perspective. I don't usually share uh, more analysis on weekly, but uh, I'll show you one or two things. So if you want to be seen and get uh, the perspective of what we are looking at, I will advise you to join uh, the legendary tree room. We are having a 50% discount. So uh, you can get in at a very cheap price. You get all the analysis and the courses and the daily updates, everything together at a very minimum rate. You can just go to permarkets.com uh, and and get yourself into the trading room and get all these analysis. So we are having, we are looking at an ending diagonal form of or either a WXY in this particular scenario. So once you 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 get a bigger picture, then you you are going to just like a top down analysis that we are doing. So now we are doing this with A of 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 that why that we are looking at so now let's let's quickly look at let's quickly look at uh now we have this impulsive wave for wave one now the question is is this all the end of the correction of wave a or are we going to make uh, a move down then another move to the upside the reason why i'm looking at uh we getting a move down then uh another move to the upside is sometimes i i look at rsi and i look at divergence a lot so this is the end. This side is the end of uh, where we have this wave one. So this is it. Now price is likely, I think price is in the same section. 
as that particular but if we look at where the rsi is there is a possibility we are going to get divergence so because even if we have a breakout of this particular thing i don't think price has enough room to go this way so the, the once we we have that particular then there's a higher possibility that the bias might lose momentum and the rsi might give us something like this before going up so once we get a divergence we are going to get a move to the downside and that particular downside is what i'm making me anticipate okay then there's going to be a possible pullback possible pullback for for the completion of the wave c then as we go up the rsi will also go up again so that is what we are tracking for this particular week though we are bullish on it but we are looking for a very short term uh pullback on monday uh on monday on this on this particular one uh, on this particular one so let's let's look at uh gold also uh, uh let's look at gold also okay i'm seeing a lot of uh, people who are joining us live uh if you want me to see your fa uh, your name you need to grant streamyard access before we can see your name other than that is going to be showing as facebook user so grant streamyard access there's a link there once you click on it now when you comment we we can uh see your name so he's saying very good analysis good resources last few weeks okay thank you very much for the feedback uh we have another person also uh asking of ej uh but um i'm going to address all of them but let's let's quickly move to the the, the pairs that most people have sent me messages on uh so let's let's look at uh bitcoin uh bitcoin then once we are done with bitcoin we are going to look at gold also in bitcoin now we are looking at uh is, is, is Bitcoin ready for the 100K? Uh, we're moving to 100,000 US dollars on Bitcoin. Mm, I, ha I have I have two scenarios, in the, but my, my account is we having a bullish scenario on this particular one. Uh, we having a bullish scenario on Bitcoin. So this is my bullish scenario. Now, uh, for the wave four, we ended this five wave. Then now we are starting uh, a new impulsive wave. We've had a wave one. Uh, a correction for a wave two. Now we've had a breakout from this particular trend line. We are looking at a one, two, three, four, five for a wave one. Then now, if you are not in the trade, as price is just uh, moving to the upside like this, you can wait. Definitely, we are going to have a, 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 a correction. We are going to have a correction. Once we have that correction, that is where you can start looking to join this particular trade if you are not already in the trade. Uh, but if you are, let's say, uh, a position trader or someone who is doing a very long term swing fine if you are buying in the point of an investor point of view then it does not really matter where we are because you are ready to hold it for long but if you want to do maybe a swing trading or day trading which you want to get in at a very perfect entry to give you very good risk to world ratio then look for this pullback once you get this particular book and it happens a lot uh once we had this impulsive move uh let me just scroll in and and show you this once we had this impulsive move, oh no! Once we had this impulsive move, we 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 definitely had a pullback to it. It happened most of the time. So now, as we are having this impulsive move, we are expecting another pullback before price will keep on going up. Then there is there is also an alternative to this. There is also an alternative to this, which I'm also tracking. So this be my my primary count. Uh, there is an alternative scenario, alternative count I need to mention so that you understand all the possible uh, scenario for, for Bitcoin. This is also the alternative scenario for Bitcoin. You know, now as we've started another impulsive move on this, in this particular scenario too, we, we are still at a uh, wave four, which the ability of we going for a downward move for a wave five. So this whole pattern now becomes uh, an ABC. This whole pattern becomes an ABC, an A, B, C. And now we are in a perfect scenario where we are at uh, the 1.168 fib level of uh, wave C versus A. So now there is a possibility if, if this scenario might want Want to play out, which uh, I, 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 it's, it's likely it might not because I'm more bullish on, on Bitcoin. But it's good to always get to know the alternative scenario so that you can manage your trade properly. You, ma you can manage your trade properly. Then we expect price to give us a retracement and start seeing more of a retracement from this particular side. 
price giving us a retracement from this particular side once we start seeing that is it might just be also the wave two uh, correction that we are looking at on the bullish scenario so once we have this three wave correction then we will see price reaction to it in in using the fib level within the 50 to 61.8 how price react to it whether we are going to get the the the, the, the the reversal back to the bullish continuation or price might want to go down but this is also a very uh, possible scenario that can form uh, with an abc expanding flat then price going down but i am very bullish on it but as, as a professional trader it's always uh, not move just with your emotions. I, I wish Bitcoins uh, just go out. But at the same time, the patterns that are forming can also uh, show you that there's going to, it can plummet any time. So once I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, always give you alternative views. Uh, people, if you, if you are new, you might think they are contradictory views. No, but it's, it's preparing you ahead of time. So that when, as you are tracking this wave too for the bullish scenario, if price keep on going down, going down to come and break this particular zone then you know that you know where to switch to we are already in this uh alternative scenario of this way four so we might go down one more for a way five but now uh for for me personally i'm very bullish on bitcoin and that is what i'm tracking now that is what i'm tracking now so if you have any question on it uh let me know in the in, in the comment section uh in the comment section and i'm going to address it let's quickly look at gold also let's quickly look at gold also i'm trying my best to make the video not too long so that you guys can't really have time and okay in gold to uh let's let's quickly go to the legendary trade room then look at the daily time frame what i'm looking at for gold what i'm looking at for gold what i'm looking at for gold in the in the daily time frame if you want to join us, uh, we are having a 50% uh, discount now. So on our promo, uh, so you can go to Jesper Marquez. You can see it in the in the in the uh, link below. Uh, I'm also going to leave it in the comment section uh, for for you to join the legendary room at a very cheaper price now. Now on the daily time frame, this is what we are looking at. Now we we have an ABC for wave four, so we I'm anticipating there is a possibility of the way the wave one and the three uh, moved, we might have an ending diagonal. So sometimes when people don't understand what you are looking at, when they see maybe you label the three wave for wave one, then they start complaining that oh you are very wrong, blah blah. People just uh, they, they just fancy pointing out mistakes. I do I do believe that we all make mistakes sometimes because we've always been students of the market and. Sometimes we do make mistakes, but uh, these days I don't reply most of those comments because when you don't know what I'm looking at, it makes it difficult for you to, it's, it's, it's easier for you to criticize. Uh, but now this is what we are looking at. I am looking at the possibility of an ending diagonal. Whether it's going to be an ending diagonal or not, definitely it's going to be a motive wave. So if it's not going to be an ending diagonal, then we are just going to look at a normal one, two, three, four, five uh, for, for, for an impulsive wave. So if I'm looking at ending diagonal, that is why I'm labeling an A, B, C. Uh, so I want to see an A. Then we have a correction for B for wave three. Uh, this is too soon for now, but it's, it's, it's also possible. So that is what, what I'm looking at based on this particular three wave that happened here with this wave B being a triangle. This wave B being a triangle. So now when we come to the four hour time frame, uh we have a wave after the wave one we have the wave two so the wave a of the wave three that we are looking at is also an impulsive wave so we have a one two three, so we are looking at the final wave we need to get a three four and four. so if you are day trading uh then you can just once you get a pullback when you are buying you have to be very careful because when this five wave uh finishes we need to get a three wave pullback a three wave pullback for the, the wave three a three wave pullback for the wave three for the wave b uh a possible abc for the wave b so if you're not in the trade two you can you can wait uh and 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 uh after this wave b as it's forming then you can also buy for a wave c which is going to give you a very good risk to road ratio very good risk to road ratio so uh let's let's look at um uh, usd card USD card is also uh, giving us 
a very very interesting uh scenario on usd card now on the four hour time frame this this is what we are looking at after this wave four triangle we've had an impulsive wave for wave one so we want to see uh this 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 corrective move uh come to a level uh a possible abc then now we'll pull our fibs from this side to this side to know where exactly that price might have its reversal but we want to see uh a, a wave c a move to the downside for the wave c then once we are out of that then we want to see a breakout from this particular channel that is going to give us a bullish confirmation to start going high as the the the, the usd as we look at the short term increase uh the short term strength in the usd this particular week so that is what we are looking at so now this particular weekend on monday uh, we want to see uh, a move to the downside for this wave c if you are doing a swing trading or a short term trading you can start selling this particular uh thing for wave c but know that uh the, still the long term scenario or the, the medium term is still a bullish scenario so as you are selling you have to be very careful to take your profit then once you take your profit then you can also uh also uh, move to uh, the bullish scenario and start buying for this particular pair and start buying for this particular pair let's quickly look at um the the pound uh japanese and i think these pairs are what most people i do analyze a lot of charts but on the video i cannot go through all of them but if you're in room then that means you have access to all the charts uh the ones we post to all the weekly analysis and the rest and the ones we don't even if whether it's indices the, the the dollar index and everything these charts are updated every day so there's not a single day that we don't give updates on our charts and at the same time too in the trading room too we do share uh trading opportunities and other stuffs uh um, for for you to know what, what my, a lot of market analysis also a lot of market analysis on these ones so now on on pound Japanese is giving a very interesting scenario. It is showing a structure which makes it very easy to understand how to trade uh, Elliott Wave or any other thing based on structure. Based on structure. So now this is what we are seeing. Uh, we have an impulsive wave. The, in every impulsive wave, there will be a correction. Once the correction is over, there's going to be a breakout from that correction. Then another impulsive wave came. That we have also seen another correction. So just like we had in this side, with this structure, we were anticipating to get something also like this. The market has always been traveling in this uh, impulsive wave correction, impulsive wave correction. And it, it, it happens to whatever uh, pair that you are looking at, whether it is a bullish scenario or whether it's a bearish scenario, it does not matter. It's, it's, if, if you understand just this concept, then you make a lot of money in the market. You make a it's, it's just as simple as that mm. so that is what structure is happening now so <clears throat> uh after this wave one black wave one we have this wave two we have this wave two and now now we are we are seeing anticipating this wave three uh of of the red wave three after a leading diagonal so we want to see a, a trend continuation so if you go to the one hour time frame just look for a short term correction then once you get a buy setup buy this particular wave three setup uh to give you a three four and five so we are more bearish bearish on the pound japanese yen more bearish on the pound japanese yen. i think uh i saw a question on uh i think when i started okay on the us 30 uh let me take one or two questions then i'm gonna share charts of the remaining ones that you guys asked the the us 30 um, okay the, the, the John. okay so this, this is what what i'm looking at for the uh, us 30 uh we we are now at wave four oh, let me let me show you what we are looking at in the daily time frame And the, okay, so this is what we are looking at. Uh, we, we, we've seen a wave one. Now, this is a correction for the wave two that we are anticipating. So if we come to the, 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 the trading room, uh, if we come to trading view, if we come to trading view, then uh, this, this is uh, very simple. Now, we've had a wave B. 
now we we are looking at a five wave move to the downside for wave c so we've had a wave one two three four we've seen an abc correction an abc correction for an abc correction for a wave four so now we want to see a trend continuation inside this particular zone is that price is going to find its reversal on the 61.8 or 78.6 as the five wave also keep happening on 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 this one uh on the us 30 then we'll get to know what uh what to uh start uh whether because now you are in a wave five. So the wave five is also an impulsive move, which is also going to give you a five wave down uh, down the line in one, two, three, four, five. So once you are getting that particular one, so let's say if you're on a four hour, you can also go to the one hour or the 30 minutes time frame to, to, to get a breakdown of, of these things, a breakdown of these things, um, a breakdown of these things, to know exactly when this turning point. The other things that we use as confluence in design, determine the reversal points, which I've really uh, explained in uh, the Rhythmatics Forex Aspirator course. So if, if, you are, if you want to get to know more about it, you can just jump into our course. It's a very detailed course. I'm seeing Mohammed asking a question on uh, where exactly, uh, where to start counting it's it's very it's very interesting we've i've dealt a lot in in, in explaining these things in the with matters for us as rater course so if you just if you are part of the trading room uh you see in the courses section in the course section i think i've i've done a lot of webness on on these these things also but if you really want a detailed one then once you come to the the, the trading room you can come to start course I've, I've everything about trading view, everything about uh, Elliott Wave, everything about the uh, technical analysis I've been dealt with in, in this particular, because there's a lot of models in it, uh, assignments for you to do, uh, a lot of things. So once you click on it, so if, you, if, if Mohammed, if you want to just get more details into these things, just take uh, either the, the, uh, if you take the annual or the lifetime package, you are going to get the course also for free. Uh, then I'm going to get the course for free. So it's, it's it, once you come to a site like this, just just uh, get to just get to uh, yeah, give me the promo offer. It's going to take you to our price our pricing, uh, which we we have. 50% uh, discount on the lifetime, which brings it to 247. Uh, we have the annual also, which brings it to 147 uh, per year. Then you have the monthly, which you are going to pay 47 per month for the first month. Then uh, the remaining ones continue on $77 per month. So if, if you really want to get the course for lifetime and the annual, you still have the course for free at, at this uh price so uh guys uh i don't want to make a very long video today so that will be all for now i see your questions uh or those who asked of aj uh ej euro japanese cn aussie japanese i'm not going to address them in the call but i'll make sure that i'm going to share uh a chat on this just like i do both in telegram and on our social platforms in facebook on the rest so uh i will encourage you all to have a very wonderful week and trade with care trade with care and always don't forget to use risk management because this is not uh it's, it's, it's not uh a sprint it's a marathon so you have to you have to really uh, always apply risk management. It's not about stacking a lot of trades to make it one off. If you do that, you're going to blow your account. So guys, that will be all for now. And uh, I'll expect you, uh, if you are if you are with us uh, on YouTube, you can jump into our YouTube channel. That is Peter Pell. If you search for it, then do subscribe and click on the notification bell. Uh, click on the notification bell so that when I release videos like this on analysis and how to create, then you understand. So that will be all for now. I'm out. May the market be with us all.